السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آج میں آپ کو جو کورس پیک بنایا ہوا ہے اس میں سے آپ کو جومیٹرک مین کا کیونکہ چھوٹا سا ڈیٹا ہے اینڈ آئی ایم ٹرائنگ ٹو ٹیل یو ہاؤ ٹو کیلکولیٹ جومیٹرک مین فار گروپ ڈیٹا تو لاسٹ آپ نے یوٹیوب پہ جو میری ویڈیو دیکھی ہے دیٹ واز اباؤٹ جومیٹرک مین فار ان گروپ ڈیٹا اب آج جو ہم ڈسکس کر رہے ہیں دس از جومیٹرک مین فار گروپ ڈیٹا اچھا یہ جو بالکل شروع میں آپ کو نظر آ رہا ہے جومیٹرک مین از اکول ٹو اے ایل دیٹ سمپلی مینس اینٹی لاگ اب اس سے پہلے اگر آپ نے پہلے والا لیکچر اٹینڈ کیا ناؤ یو نو کہ اگر آپ نے لاگ والے فارمولا سے جومیٹرک مین کیلکولیٹ کرنا ہو دین یو ہیو ٹو ٹیک اینٹی لاگ رائٹ اچھا اب چونکہ ہمارے پاس یہ گروپ ڈیٹا ہے تو اینٹی لاگ اب ہم نے کس چیز کا لینا ہے سمیشن آف ایف لاگ ایکس ڈیوائڈیڈ بائی سمیشن ایف یہ اگر آپ یہ آئی از اکول ٹو ون ٹل این اس والی نوٹیشن سے کنفیوز ہو رہے ہیں تو وہ نہ ہو دیٹ سمپلی مینس کہ آپ نے فریکوینسی کو سم کیا ہوا ہے اور یہاں پر آپ نے ہر انڈیویجول فریکوینسی کو لاگ آف ایکس سے ملٹی پلائی کیا ہوا ہے یہ میں آگے ایکسپلین بھی کر دیتی ہوں کہ ایکس جو ہے دیٹ از مڈ پوائنٹ ٹھیک ہے تو ابھی اگر آپ کو یہ فارمولا اتنا کلیئر نہ ہو رہا جسٹ لیٹس کم ٹو دا گروپ ڈیٹا دیٹ وی آر ڈسکسنگ اوکے سو here we have the class intervals the first interval is minus 0.1 to 1 right and its frequency is 10 so ab is it a second interval 1.1 to 2.2 and the frequency is 38 similarly so this is simply uh, the data set right the class interval column and the frequency column this will be given even from the exam point of view so now what you have to do is to find out the first step will be to calculate the column of x i which are midpoints right so midpoints as you know uh, that you simply add the class limits and then you divide by 2 so minus 0.1 plus 1 divided by 2 comes out to be 0.45 similarly 1.1 plus 2.2 divided divided by 2 comes out to be 1.65 so this xi is my first step right calculating the midpoints and as you could see above in the formula we need this summation fi so i have added all the frequencies 10 38 and 9 and the sum comes out to be 57 okay so next according to the formula what do i need log of the mix uh, midpoints right that is log of xi so use your calculator and find out the log, log of 0.45 which will be minus 0.3467 and similarly log of 1.65 which will be 0.2174 and so on so you are using your calculator to find out the log right so i request all of you to please get acquainted with your calculator and uh, if in your exam if it's the first time you're using the calculator to find the log maybe you won't be that that much comfortable so start using your calculator get acquainted make it a buddy and then you'll know how to calculate log and if you have any query finding the log of these numbers you can ask me right okay so next step is i need according to the formula each frequency has to be multiplied with the log of midpoint so each frequency that means 10 multiplied by minus 0.3467 comes out to be minus 3.467 right similarly 38 into this number 0.2174 comes out to be this number and so on right okay from the exam point of view which inshallah i believe that will be conducted on time and let's all stay positive during this pandemic and let's uh, just kick away all the stress anyway so multiplying the fi 10 by log of xi I get this column, right? 38 multiplied by 0.2174, I get this value. And then I add all these values and it comes out to be 8.8874, right? See, so this is the numerator. 8.8874 is this whole thing. Sum of f log x. And then I have to divide this by summation f. That is 57. And that is why you see geometric mean is anti log of this thing right so i divide 8.8874 by 57 and then i use my calculator to take the anti log which i told that you have to press second function log or shift log and then you enter whatever the number is inside and your answer will be 1.4319 
right so this 1.4319 what is this it's a geometric mean for this group data in other words this is a average for this data so remember whenever we use the word average it could be anything it could be median mode geometric mean right so but uh, from the you could say in your earlier classes, maybe if you have the math background, most of the time average is interpreted as or referred as arithmetic mean. That is most of the teacher, they say, okay, average means arithmetic mean. But uh, if, if I am giving you the statistical concept, average includes all type of averages, which includes arithmetic mean, median, mode, and geometric mean, right? And there's another one that we haven't covered in the course, so... I'm not naming that one here, but we should not be concerned about that, right? Okay, so just in case, if this example or the video is not clear, do let me know, right?